I was born in Morocco, Casablanca, as a Jew, and it was a very oppressive life. We had to walk the opposite side of the street. Girls did not have the opportunity to go to school, so I never had a real education. When I was 14, a French priest wanted to tell me about Jesus and said, little girl, would you like to go to heaven? I said, I, I'm Jewish. I said, I'm gonna go to heaven. And he says, well, can I share this, this with you? And it was a little Bible. So I ran home and I said, mom, mom, this man is telling me about Jesus. And she went berserk. And she said, you cannot ever say that name again. That's a cursed word. Years later, we all moved to America. And by that time, I made a mess of my life. I remember one particular night crying out to God, even though I did not know him. The next day, I was getting my hair done, and uh, this beautiful lady, Janet Phillips, <laughs> told me the wonderful news. She said, Viv, I know you're Jewish, but can I tell you how you could go to heaven? And I said, hurry up, tell me. And so I was ready, and she was so happy, and she told me. And um, I went outside, and everything changed. The thing that I remember the most is the big, heavy burden on my shoulders. I cannot explain it, but it was like he just totally removed everything that I did, said, and it was, I was like a brand new person, and I just looked up to heaven and I said, I love you. My mom was my first convert. One night she called me up, she said, Viv, she said, I had a dream last night and it really scared me. She said, I saw Jesus all in white and he came to me and he said, Malia, why do you hate me? Why do you persecute me? I am the one that you're looking for. I am Yeshua, Jesus. And so she was petrified. So she said, could you please come and share with me? She said, just tell me how I could go to heaven. Ever since I got saved, I wanted to tell everybody about Jesus. I mean, I literally told everybody. I went to India with, um, IMB for three and a half years. I learned enough Hindi to be able to sit with somebody and share the, the different scriptures that lead somebody to the Lord. And then I would go um, in Hindi door to door and um, really dangerous neighborhood and knock on the door and I would say, can I teach your children the Bible? Uh, and they would say, no, well, can I teach your children English? And they would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, well, I only have one book and that's the Bible. And they'd go, yeah, we don't care, just teach them. It's amazing how he opens the door and he tells me what to say and I just say it. I mean, sometimes it's amazing. Even when I give my testimony and maybe I don't want to say things that are embarrassing to me, if he specifically says, Viv, she needs or he needs, I just tell them. And so it's amazing what the Lord does with that.